Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 86 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. So let's see what the Grave of Illusions is up to. Again, we can't change our deployment, so... So, leaving the protection of the castle to Fia and Kisnir and the others, we head out with Katorito. So, this is the grave... Did I say Graveyard of Illusions? I think. In any case. Hmm, well, just one look at it, it seems about the same as the Sky Bridge. The Dragon Bridge. You don't see that kind of stone around very often. So, this is where we continue? Katorito is saying that somewhere she heard that there was an entrance. So she is kind of wandering about looking for... Well, an entrance, I guess. So we're all on our guards as she's doing this. So they've gotten this far without any of the dragons interfering. Katorito has probably chosen a good path for avoiding enemies. As expected, someone who knows the lay of the land is a good choice for expeditions of this sort. Ah, uh, but our opponents also know the lay of the land around here too. So we need to consider the possibility of an ambush as well. And furthermore, since this is a test for the dragon tribes, there's also the possibility that there will be a, well, a battle involved. So we should be plenty wary. Well, yes. A Katorito here doesn't really know what her ancestors have prepared for her instruction in these trials. So she's thinking it will probably be dangerous, so everybody should be careful. So, it seems you don't really know the the contents of these trials, do you? <laughs> well, no, sorry. The only thing she was taught about these tests is if she's ever in a situation which she can't handle by herself, she should come here. It seems that her father, Shuketor, passed away before he could impart more useful information. Yeah. Well, due to circumstances, this is a bit rushed on Katorito. But she does probably hold the bruh. She does hold the proper bloodline. So if she displays that, I guess in the tests, the dragon tribes should come in under her. Probably. Yeah, she's gonna try her best in order to 
be able to face her father, she says. It's metaphoric. So, putting on a strong expression, she continues to search. And finally placing her hands on something or other. The mechanisms made of rock start to move, and an entrance opens up. And it descends like stairs into the mountainside. Hmm, would we... Could we say that it's responding to Kalthorito here? Yes. She thinks that her ancestors are calling her. Alright, let's go. Let's do this test and... Well, follow up on your father's works. So, that's how it begins. It doesn't seem to be very expansive down here, and it's dark, so you can't see far. Since when? And there should be enemies hidden here and there. Be careful, everyone. Ooh, ah. Hey, Katarita, what happened? So, somehow, in her head some words just popped into there. She thinks it's something related to the test. Okay. Correct is open. Others, oh, others are sealed. And take advantage of difficulties and steal the riches to grow strong or something it's deliberately worded fairly quite extravagantly but basically do the correct thing and the way opens and do the wrong thing and it stays closed as for Taking advantage of hardship and stealing the treasures. Ah, uh, well, I guess we're going to steal treasures anyway. So, anyway. So, what does it mean? Ah, uh, no. Avara doesn't get it either. So, anyway, if we overcome this trial, we can figure it out. Probably we'll see something along the way. So here's our goal. And certainly, what Katorito does is go what Katorito does is going to be a key. Let's do our best. Alright, let's do our best. <laughs> ah, she says she'll do any test. Isn't she cute? Hmm. No, that's not right. I noticed in my root map that there's something I can do. But it needs to be with adult cap. Well, adult. Grown up Katorito. As it were. Dum 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 dum. The enemy down there. Ha, a ghoul. On the floor there is something written. Here is the place where he who shall become leader should stand. We await the correct person. Oh man. 
I don't think we're smart enough to figure this out. So it seems that if we don't set the right person on this, then it won't do anything. So, the person who will become leader. Oh, yes. Now, Kathorito inherently has resist lightning. Or, what's a better way to put that? Electrical resistance. Anyway, this area here, you need electrical resistance to pass through. Kathorito has it natively, as I said, but... She's kind of needed to step on this event over here. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have told you that. Now, the thing from the root map should be this. If we go adventuring with grown-up Katorito and send her next to Avaro, she looks at him. So, Avaro happens to look back and their eyes meet. She does look a little more grown up, but she's still kind of, you know, inverted. Introverted. Inverted. So, yeah. She still acts like Katarito and, well, she's still cute. So, you're Katarito. Your face seems a little red. Has something happened? Avaro, you're an idiot. No, seriously, tell him he's an idiot. Because, you know, he's an idiot. Huh. She says it's nothing. And she runs away. Hmm, seems like she's responding to something. Maybe she hates Avaro. Ooh, that would be bad. No, that, there's no way that would happen, right? Ha! If only you knew. If only you had enough brain cells to rub together. Yeah, that's this one here. Maybe I should have shown it to you before I did it, but... Well, that's how you do it. You know what? Forget that. We did the scene. Back to super cute mood. No, no. Holy attack. I'm still a little behind on what... Or unclear, rather. On what the negative resistances do. Hey, two Phoenix Downs. You see this guy has negative four re in his holy and it seems to get like something 33% or s some odd. Or maybe it's 40%. In any case, it's a weird number. But anyway. You isn't here to fight that guy. You is here to open this door and explore. Anyway, this guy is harmless. Now the convenient thing they have in here is, even though there aren't in my, my party, I can unequip that Suima shield off of Mikeu and put it on Rosaline and capture this two-star undead guy. Yahar. So, uh, wait patiently, everyone. Lightning shards. Hmm. 
Repeating again, the one who should become leader is to stand here. What well, bam So now the seal's open and we can continue. Uh, flaming yellow precious jewels? In any case, it's a sale only item. I've never talked about the sale only items, have I? I mentioned something rather in passing. But not very much. Oh, hey, I'm dead. Guess what? Rosaline can rip the undead apart. I didn't explain either. Wait, that was probably a one-star undead. Meaning I didn't need to capture it at all. Anyway, Rosaline has the Spirit Mage ability, which allows her to deal extra damage to spirits and then the undead. Also, she takes reduced damage from them. Yeah. Anyway, I'll consider that at a later date. Well, I'll explain. You see when I hover over a square that I can interact with, it has the selector on the outside of it. But if I hover over squares I can't interact with, it doesn't. In this, I can. Even though there isn't a door to it. I think it's likely that I can teleport in there. All right, gather point, great. All right, what's up this time? Something in here too? Let's hear it. Here is where the person of light who accompanies the chieftain shall stand. We await the correct person. Person of light, huh? Oh man, this is blowing my mind. Kaisha. <laughs> Oh, interesting. You don't even need to open the door. Well, I'm going to anyway, because that's how I roll, but... And anyway, you can't control the door room without opening the door. Knight's shoes. Well, it's not you, Avaro. In fact, let's just... Not beat around the bush. It's Mikshuana. The person of a light accompanying a chief stands here. Good. Great. So all's well. Let's continue. Oh. Indigo blue treasure stones. Precious gems. Normally behind doors, it will lead you to rooms that you can't get to using teleportation. Like this one here. There are no rooms to which to teleport in there to get around this thing. And likewise over here. I can't get at it from over here, for instance. But unusually, this... In this particular map, it has one. 
Maybe it's just to keep us from... Keep us on our toes a bit. Alright, let's let Rosaline out. I don't want Kautorito fighting that Rodon. Or is it Rizami Rodon? It has a fire attack and Kautorito is actually fairly weak against fire. Uh, good job you. Now disappear. That is so convenient. Alright, so the Rizami rolled on. Ho, oh, who needs experience? Let's give it to Mikshana. Wait, you don't have a capture rope equipped. Man. I'm so glad I have so many of these. Mm, I've got plenty of those, those drops. Great. Now, what's up next? This isn't so much a combat test as a literacy test, really. So, what's written this time? This is where the dragon that obeys the chief shall stand. We await the correct person. Dragon who obeys the chief, huh? Uh, what? I'm pretty sure none of my guys are dragons. Unless I have terribly missed somebody's backstory. And in point of fact, you can actually have all of your characters march on there in turn, or out of turn, and nobody will actually activate it. Oh look, a dragon. Let's kill it. Oh no, let's capture it. Dragons are awesome. For training purposes, I mean. Alright everybody, smash the dragon. Well, as much as you can, seeing as hardly any of us can fit in there. Uh, it's weak against lightning. Well, some of my characters have lightning attacks. Hmm. Hey, that's not fair. Picking on her just because she's cute. Oh, I know the Katorito has lightning attacks. How do you like this, sucker? Uh, actually, it does a lot of damage to her. Oh, but she charmed it. Hi, in any case, it's about to die, so let's... Thank you for your contribution. So, it's charmed right now, so it can't fight back, for one. And it won't take a turn this next turn. So I think I'm going to take it easy. And let Katharito... 
No, she's got enough experience, actually. I could give it to you. Yeah. Yeah, let's give it to you. He's a good workable character. This is new. This is an Earth Dragon Claw. I need those. I need, I think, several of those. For... Um... Oh, oh, hammer oh, for... Oh, hammer for... Oh. Hey, another dragon! Free dragons! I love this place. But anyway... In case it's not obvious, this is the gimmick of this particular event. The dragon that obeys the leader. Or in this case, more better to say, the dragon that follows the leader. I think it will prioritize attacking Katorito over anyone else. As long as Katorito is in range. And this thing only has two movement points. Talk about crazy, right? Uh, nothing you can do in there, Michana. Ooh, a hidden room. Hmm. You know what, I'm going to pull I out. Although this dragon is going to do his melee attack against Katorito and it doesn't do that much damage, she did take a decent lick from when she fought that first dragon. Okay, that's everybody. Kind of unusually, her best expression actually comes when she is at half-life or lower, but more than one quarter life. Anyway. In my trial run, I didn't know what I was doing, and I didn't get to this point until, like, turn 35 or so. So I ran out of... So I ran out of turns. I mean, I couldn't do everything back here, basically. I did get to the event, but I didn't fix the well, and I didn't collect that treasure there. I wonder what it was. This is a light armor of dancing steps. I don't know. Well, hell, you know what? I can check my armors in here. Who is this one here? Hey, it makes you immune to charm. And only females can equip it, apparently. Haha. <laughs> as far as armor goes, it's... decent. Keep it coming, Draco. So, the dragon that obeys the leader. Or, working actually on the same principle that obey and follow are synonyms. The dragon that follows the leader. 
I think it's a bit cheesy, but hell, it works for me. Oh, well, maybe I should have weakened this guy a bit. Well, let's pull out my level 28 characters then. Ooh, ouch. But she only gets two attacks, so let's do this. Was Mikshuana also level 28? Yes, she was. Can you do this? Yeah, maybe she can. Looks like it. You know, I expect more experience out of dragons. Dragon skin. Alright, so whom do we have to land on this last event? Okay, that's actually a trick question. In reality, anyone will do. So boom, we're done. So, does this mean we pass the test? Yes, but there are still more. And they're telling her to continue inward. So the next map is opened up. <laughs> so the trials aren't simply one. Oh, you know how Japanese is. They don't have plural, per se. So they kept saying trial, trial, trial. But actually it was trials, trials, trials. All right, let's continue onward. We're doing good, so this should go well. Lots of stuff here. Oh, this is the uh, dragon treasure. You remember the one we found way back when? We made a necklace and armor out of it. So there are actually more places. Appropriately around here. So, let's see. Well, I would love to show you these scenes, but if, unfortunately, all I did in my trial run was that map, so I don't know what's going on. And I'd rather not pause and... pause in the middle of a scene and go look words up for you. That would just be awkward. So I'm going to call it a day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.